Hi. In honor of Valentine's Day, we want to show how developers can use missions to create Slack integrations in a tenth of the time. So we're going to do one of these from scratch using one of our webhook steps. And this is going to be called Happy Valentine's Day. So once we create our mission, we have our blank slate here, and we're going to add our first step. This will be a to-do step where we're going to ask who we want to send a Valentine to. This is going to be sent to the channel where the mission was launched. We're going to have a little heart button confirmation, and uh, we're going to now pick a person. And so this will be the recipient who we're going to send their Valentine to. So that'll be our first step. And now our second step will be a webhook step. And so here we'll pick from the webhook type. And we're going to call this, we'll set a title on this that says, get a random Valentine GIF. And so we'll put the webhook URL in here later. Uh, but we're going to take a, an input that will pass into it, which will be a tag. So this will be, we're going to use Giphy, and we're going to call the Giphy API, and we're going to look for Valentine's uh, GIFs. And the output of this webhook step is going to be the GIF that we receive. And we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll do this later. We'll do this as the last step. And we have this warning here because we didn't actually put the webhook URL in. Um, and so after this, we're just going to send the, um, we'll go ahead and, and send the GIF. Uh, and so we'll do a notify step here that says that uh, sends our message. And so we'll create this step and we'll send a, an initial notification that says the person that completed step one, so the person that picked the recipient, sends you uh, love. Uh, and we'll send that, we'll notify the recipient. Um, and then we're going to send a second message, which is just going to be with that GIF. So we'll go ahead and pick from our dynamic data here. And we'll pick this step that's get a random GIF and we'll pick the GIF output. And again, we're going to notify the recipient that was picked in step one. And that's our mission. All we need to do now is we need to go and create this webhook endpoint. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Glitch to do that. Um, Glitch is a really easy way to be able to host Node.js sites, especially for testing. And we have a mission. If you go to missions-starter, I'll include a link to this. Um, it's, a, it's a great place to start to create a missions webhook step. So we're going to go and the first thing we'll do is remix this. So we're going to essentially copy or fork it. And then Glitch will give it a nice random name here, and we'll rename that and call this uh, Missions Valentine's uh, Love or something. Okay. And so, so here we have kind of a boilerplate for handling a webhook step. And so what happens when Missions fires a webhook step is it sends a request, and they need to send a response back. Uh, in that, you can be passed input data. And so in this case, we're going to pass in that tag and so this is the tag for Giphy. And we can go ahead and validate that we received this tag, like we are here. And to make sure that we've received it, if we didn't, we'll, we'll fail the step. Um, and then we'll basically do something. And then after we've done something, we'll return the output. And what we're going to return here is the GIF. Um, and, and we'll need to go and, and get that GIF. And so we'll need to uh, use, we're going to use request. So we'll go and add the request package because we're going to make a request out to the, um, we're going to make a request out to the Giphy API. And so down here, we'll uh, set up the Giphy URL, which I have here. So um, I pasted that in here. If you want to look at the Giphy API, it's pretty straightforward. With the Giphy API, you need your Giphy API key. I've set that as a secret. It's inside, it'll be inside of the .env uh, file here. So I'll have to copy that. And off camera, I'll go ahead and set the value of that. But anything that you put in .env, you could use on Glitch as process.env. And it sets that basically as an environment variable. Um, and so here, instead of Valentine's, I'm going to use the tag so that a variable set the tag. So we'll pass in the tag that we received for missions. Um, and we'll call out to Giphy to make this request. And we'll just set this up with request.
Okay, so we've got that uh, squared away. And now what we want to do is we're going to pull out of the, if you look at the response from um, the body, there is a, um, there's a property called image URL that we're just going to pull, and that's just going to be the image for the GIF. So we're going to make this, we're going to get a random uh, GIF from Giphy with the tag Valentine's, and we're just going to respond with output of GIFs. That's the, the output uh, name that we set up in missions, if you remember. And um, this is actually body.data.imageurl. We're going to pass that back as a response. We're going to tell missions that we handled this request and not to wait on this to call a callback URL, which is um, something I won't get into now. Uh, but now that we, we have this set up, uh, we should be able to, actually, I'm going to go and set my Giphy API key, and I'll be back. So now that we have our project all set up, we'll just go grab the URL for our Giphy project here. So if you click on the eyeglasses, we'll see uh, here's the name of our Giphy project. And we'll come back to missions, and we're going to use this as a web, the, the uh, webhook endpoint URL. I could also put in a verification token. Again, this will be pulled out of that .env file. I'll do that blank for now. Um, and we should be all set. And so let's go ahead and publish that. And um, last, I'm going to add a trigger here, and I'm going to say that I want to launch this from Slack. So the triggers really describe where and how you want a mission to be launched. And so I'm going to install this in my team for everyone, and I am going to uh, just yep, save that and then publish it. And then when I pop over to Slack, and so I'm here inside of uh, this DM with missions. If I just do missions slash missions, I'll be able to get a list of all of the uh, missions. And so all of the team missions, these are the ones that could be launched anywhere in our Slack instance show up here, and here's the one we created. So I'll go ahead and select that. I'll launch it. And now it'll ask us, it'll ask who we want to send the Valentine to, and uh, I might as well go ahead and send it to me so that you can see that then. And I'll click send here. So Mike sent uh, love to Mike is what we should see. So Mike sends you love. And there's our, uh, our random uh, gift that we got from Giphy. So that's just a peek at how you can use missions to create custom Slack integrations for your team in about a tenth of the time. Happy Valentine's Day.